and welcome to episode 28 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orient. Weirdly, Genk have approached Radu Flocka to be manager of the Belgian outfit. Don't know where that's come from. We got Charlton Athletic in the first game. We look at the standings. Charlton are in third place. This is going to be a big one. I really do want it to be the turning point. Let's have a winning episode. We've struggled with the bad passes and the loose touches. Dropped to so many points. Bruno Sosa is open. A little finesse shot into the bottom corner. We've got a very important lead against Charlton Athletic. And if you're going to give the wingers that much space, prepare for Bobby Monk. What more could I do there? Is Lewis Proctor not at the perfect angle? Is Tembo not protecting his front post? Literally the next attack. How have we not stopped that? Fantastic, lads. Cheers. This game is properly unfair at the moment. If this game doesn't change quick, there will be a full-on rage. Nice touch, Nantanina. Oh! Amit Panda. Let's go, Thompson. Does he have the legs for it? I think so. Oh, it's not a great finish. Quite central to the goal, but the goalkeepers are absolutely atrocious on this game. And it doesn't really reward good finishing, does it? Because the people who develop it are f numpties. Can we just keep it in? Yes. Tembo away. No nonsense. Oh, that's a lovely flick on by Yomba. Have it back. Henry Yomba's cannon leg. Oh, there's a tackle. I don't know how clean it was. It's Amit Panda. Yeah! Yeah! Yomba back. Nantanaino in the space. Great save by the Charlton goalkeeper. Go, Yomba. Does he have the legs? Probably not. There's a ball. Oh, nearly on the money for Amit Panda. He's stretching all the way. Little foul on Thompson. He almost forgets the ball, but bounces straight back at him. We've got... A free kick eventually. We just play it back to Charlton. Why not? Keep up. Cool. And that all came from a free kick. Buzzing. From this Thompson free kick, it doesn't even show you a direction of where you're actually kicking it. <laughs> oh, this game's busted and crooked. So, what hilarious way do we concede the equalizer? Like that. Like that. Yep. 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 Yep, yep, 3-3, three, three. yep, of course, yep, sure, that's a foul, that's a lovely ball that is, go on Fraser, nope, in, Bobby Monk will be offside, I'm glad that he didn't get a touch, to be honest, Lewis Proctor, can someone please win a head off, can't even get the clearances right, can we, this is Romeo Nantanina, my goodness, just play it out to the wing, this will be the goal, of course it is, yes, Bobby Monk, it's it, Bobby Monk does not miss those. Courtney Scott does well to intercept and gets us straight back on the attack. We need it. Ball to Bobby Monk. What's the f point of playing a game when you know you're getting cheated? I'm holding triangle here. Does it look at any point like Tembo wants to get that ball before it reaches the striker. Does it look at all? And also, Sam Lewis, why is he trying to head the ball? His foot was right there. His foot was right there. Lovely clip up from Jesse Fraser to John Paul Zabali. Bobby Monk. Sorry, has Bobby Monk become the worst striker in the world all of a sudden? This is a real gut puncher. The XG probably will tell us a lot about the story of this match. Full time. Leighton Orient 3, Charlton Athletic 5. So the XG of the two teams, 6.9 for Leighton Orient, 2.6 for Charlton Athletic. There's no way that you can spin that. That is just awful. Total incompetence by EA. A bit embarrassing, to be honest. Welcome to Yuko EK's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko EK. Buckle your seatbelts. It's only going to get worse. A word of warning. It's Bolton in the Papa John's trophy. So, so. And ball! Right, we've got a good free kick opportunity. It's old cannon leg. Dipping. Just wide. I'm trying to calm myself down, but the more I'm playing this game, and the more things are going against me, it's making me totally livid. Incandescent. Is that a word? I'll take one with Saucer because he is our best free kick taker, technically. All right, it's not great. The position there. Oh! 
Hits the crossbar, off the crossbar from Bruno Sosa in the first touch. I mean, we've seen that so many times in the last three episodes. First touches like this. Professional footballers. Professional footballers, mate. Hassan's missed the interception. This will be another goal for Bolton. I don't really know what to say. It's the next attack after that hideous touch. It just seems to always happen. You have a bad touch or a bad pass, and then they go up the field and score a goal. This is just bullshit. It's so much bullshit. That'll be three, yeah, hitting the post. So Tembo can't save it. Their current XG is 1.3. Throw out from Tembo to Jean-Paul Sabali. Nantanina is the one not getting marked up. He might attack the centre back. He's done really well. This is good, strong running by Romeo Nantanina. Tries an effort himself. So Bally lifts it back into the box with good defending from Bolton to make sure that they keep that clean sheet for now. I have no answers. I don't know how we can get ourselves out of this terrible hole apart from changing the sliders to make it easier. And I really don't want that because we've seen that we can win and we can win well against this difficulty. We're just getting absolutely shafted. Why isn't Sosa running for that? Three added minutes for the first half. Let's try and get a goal. Something to hang on to. A cross. Can't miss that one, Amit. So Bally against Brockbank. Brockbank looks pretty slow. Come on, Bobby, in front of me. No. Oh. <laughs> It's a vicious cycle. The more annoyed I get at the game, the worse I play, and the worse I play, the more annoyed I become. You don't need to do that! I block it with Hassan's leg, and it goes back, hits his arm. His arm is like this. Please don't tell me Bobby Monk's offside over that. It hits. Yes. I've got to say it, and there'll be a few Vuvuzela horns, but i just got to get it off my chest, because it might help me. Oh, yeah. Back of your core there looks fantastic. What this game's giving me right now, and I don't know if it's through the latest patch or if it's just because I've had a really, really rough time of it as of late. But what it's giving me right now is We're down to third. And we've got Bolton in the league next. Well, at least we know something about the opposition. We're swapping it up. We're freshening the side. Bolton look like they're a team that do some kind of pressing because of how tired they were at the end of the last match. I'm on the verge of just losing it entirely, man. The videos have obviously been ridiculously hampered in this series. Yes, I'm it, Panda. And now the gameplay is trying to go against me. Lozano, just chip it in because it's big, bad Bobby Monk. Putting the volley in on target, 2-0 Leighton Orient. Is this the turning point? Brock Bank doesn't have any energy. Still puts a ball in. And the centre-backs looked like children there. Bakayoko cuts the deficit in half. That's a wonderful ball to Fraser. He should have it with the energy. Come on, Jesse Fraser. What on earth is that touch, man? Williams 2-2. Two, two. I'm not annoyed anymore. I'm f pissed off. Lozano's going to go to... Can't play a simple pass to Pepe Bustamante. You have to play it behind him so we lose the possession of the ball. Pathetic. Chad Prince, let's go. It's not the greatest of passes. I mean, how many more times does this have to happen? It's like repeating myself over and over again. And of course, they've scored from it. They f scored from it. Some of these Bolton players can't even run anymore. They're so knackered. And yet they've still figured out a way to get three goals in this match and be in a winning position with a few minutes to go. <laughs> Chad Prince goes down. That's a foul. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of this. I've had enough. I'm finishing this episode. <laughs> this game. Nothing within this episode makes me want to come back to this game. And I hope some of you enjoy Ragers. I don't want you to switch off. The series needs you right now. But if the game's going to continue being like that, who the f*** is going to keep on watching it? We haven't won in God knows how many games. And just look how we started the league season. Draw, win, 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 win. Then the 4-0 loss to Derby happened and everything changed. I'm out. We got Leighton Orient against Plymouth Argyle the next match, and Plymouth are in 23rd place. So that could be the kick start. We need something positive. Next episode has to be positive. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. 
If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Please help out Youth Squad Legends wherever you can, sharing it with your friends and family or just watching the series over and over again. I'm sure we'll get there. There is enjoyment around the corner and I just can't wait to turn the corner. We're sadly getting into a routine of going on to FIFA, not enjoying the game, having to edit it, post it up on YouTube, people getting the wrong impression because I'm getting very angry. That's not me at all. Trying to be positive, have some laughs on the game, you know, trying to not make it too serious. But it's not allowing me to do that right now. Stressed out, really stressed out. Thank you to everybody on the right-hand side supporting me on Patreon. I appreciate it massively. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.